Good morning. Recording. Hi, Kevin. Hello. Um, tell me if I've got too much background noise. I've got a construction project next door. Uh, it um, seems okay at the moment. So. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> just working on presenting here. Um, and we'll start with PRs, I think. Um, be good. Um, all right, so the goal is to just go through all the PRs and issues and discuss them, close them if we can. Um, still working on Zoom. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Here we are. Um, all right, uh, just kicking it right off. Um, I suppose I could keep a document of notes. I can't remember if we've done this in the past. Let me search. Otherwise, yeah, I, I did this with Ted before and, and we didn't, I don't think we made any. Okay, like I don't that, think we so. did either. Yeah, I've done this with Ted as well. So, okay, cool. We'll just uh, continue then. So that's starting, a good idea. Starting with yeah. pull requests. Well, we'll just record things in the issues. Um, yeah. um, this first one providing guidelines on low cardinality spans is so new that I don't think we should triage it. Uh, I've approved it. Uh, make sure you take yeah. a look. Okay. Um, so uh, a number of these are kind of, morning Matt, a number of these are um, working, are pretty minor. Um, yeah. I think this is not controversial, this one about the user agent. Uh, it's no. also very new. The, the goal here is really to work through old issues. Maybe we, yeah. we should work in reverse. Okay. Um, yeah, like that one, that one we just looked at, if it's got enough approvals, we should just go ahead and merge that because uh, it says the SDKs review. already have that. Yeah. Have it says it, review uh, required. Okay. So we only yeah, have one. There's only one. Okay. okay. All right. So we can't do that. <laughs> um, all right. Um, I know there's four in a row that you are uh, author of. Maybe we yes. can work through those right now. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. The other namespace, named meter namespace is also very new um, and it has some approvals. Uh, let's just keep it in order here. So let's see. We've got. Three approvals. Um, I think we can get one more on that pretty soon. I'll I'll, I'll advertise this one after the meeting here. Um, okay. okay, let's go through yours next. Um, okay. Uh, so VM uh, image semantic conventions uh, has at least one approval. Have I not approved? I have not approved yet. I can't remember. I thought I did. Uh, oh, I asked a question about host image. Yeah, ID. so I I, ch I changed that. Oh, I see. So uh, it had been tagged and now it's been versioned. Okay. Well, then I approve. Yeah. Um, looks like we still need a couple of approvers here, um, yeah. but it's not it's not stale at this point. So um, we'll uh, after this meeting, uh, I will post a, a rally to get some of these things that are near nearly approved done. Um, okay. Common event attribute names. Uh, I feel like there's been some lingering confusion. I know there's also an OTEP, I'm waiting for my network here. There's also an OTEP open, um, and there's been some shift in the PR over time. Uh, yeah. Having to do with events versus messages. Uh, events kind of broadly, including info and error messages. 
versus kind of like message announcements of, of sort of streaming or message passing variety. Um, do you have any, uh, what's the current state of your thinking on this? Um, I think where there still needs to be some clarification on this. Um, you know, this is, uh, to me, I thought, but I thought this was clear with everybody that, that a, a message is just one kind of event, event that you would attach to a span. So I think that that is actually not too controversial. I think what, what worries people is yeah. a sort of slippery slope involving error messages and exceptions and stack traces. Um, yeah. I'm not saying it should worry them. I just think there's, we're, we're struggling right now to get a spec released and uh, the yeah. project off of its feet. And um, that seems like a, a, like a swamp to me. Right. Um, yes. One I'm very interested in, um, but it's, I'm also interested in avoiding swamps. Um, I know Matt, who's on the call now, yesterday said something about how important that seems for a 1.0. Um, would anyone else like to d defend or speak about this? I would like to chime in on that. I know on a PR, I think, where this stuff was being talked about. And I think Kevin has been leading some sort of charge on trying to define um, some semantic conventions around um, events that represent errors. Um, I think a lot of that lives in an OTAP, but um, yeah, I do yes. think it's essential for a 1.0. So I did kind of want to check in to see if if this is something that you're um, that you're passionate about and would like to lead the charge. Uh, I am leading the uh, charge on that. Uh, there is an OTAP for the air stuff, and I'm thinking yeah, we need right, here's the OTAP. Yeah, the I think I think we need specific structures to hold that that you can't really model that with simple attribute pairs. And uh, so I've actually got a project out there, POC, to, to demonstrate that all this would work. And uh, right. I you haven't have a, updated a in this repo, yet. Yeah. As I recall. Yes. And I haven't updated yet. I've got, uh, I've only done it in Java so far. And so I, I want to do some more, more languages. But um, I actually, I, I will try briefly add that before I left Google, I was working on uh, their error uh, monitoring system event, uh, error monitoring system for the Google GCP platform. And so I remember going through the exercise of like writing a parser and tests for six languages, a stack trace parser, um, and then doing some sort of semantic work on them as far as sort of identifying frames and so on, which yeah. is a lot of work. That's sort of why I know it's a swamp. Um, I, I totally support getting kind of finer grain information about errors as a source for trace sort of information but yeah i was yeah i pulled the source code from the aws sdks as a starting point so i don't know stuff. how to proceed on it like i'm supportive but i worry that it it's just like too many oh, issues yeah. at once confuse people um, i don't think it blocks well i don't think it blocks the 1.0 because it's, it's really not changing the APIs. At I agree. All. It's just it's just another kind of event. So you're you're just publishing an event. The only thing that it's going to change in in the protocol itself is is now you've got to support complex objects rather than just simple values. Right. And yeah. Even from from my point of this being a something we need from 1.0 is um, right now. Most of the SIGs are going through this exercise of converting over Datadog instrumentation. And there's, you know, numerous points in the instrumentation where you um, rescue exceptions and, and, you know, are, are aware of them and would like to be able to kind of annotate spans with those data. So um, I definitely think we need something. I know it can be a, a swamp. Like I would settle for just, you know, semantic conventions for events on a span and attributes, even though that might not be the best fit for 1.0, if that could be somehow a launching pad to um, something bigger. But I'm also, if, if, um, if having specific typed events for these is, is reasonable, um, I'm, I would also yeah. be interested in that. But yeah, if you, if you look at my, my test project, um, I got it. You know, I got a the, the data types defined, and then I'm converting in four different backend systems. 
the model for four different backend systems. And uh, there's there's maybe some more. I'm not 100% satisfied with it yet. Uh, there needs to be some more detail to it, but it seems, you know, I just want to prove that it works. And then, you know, as far <laughs> as the actual stack trace conversion, I need it to do it in some more languages to make sure. My recollection um, involves C++ a lot because it was a very important language um, at Google and uh, yeah. it was hard to work with C++ stack traces because for performance reasons, you were inclined to just record program counters and then it requires a symbol table and a, and a shared library yeah. address mapping, which is a pain just because yeah. it, it, across your whole system, you have to keep remembering that you have to find a source for these things and you can't symbolize them without that source and so on. Um, yeah. So I, I would be inclined at the very least to, to to completely separate the issue of message events from errors and stack traces. And it looks to me like- Right, um, and it is this, on the on this PR, it's just message. PR 397 is yeah. originally mentioned errors and now it doesn't. So, right. um, so then that doesn't mean that people are completely satisfied with it yet. I am, but- um, Right, the, I, the I only- just, I, I wrote, go ahead. Yeah, the only contro controversial thing or thing that's not, not understood is this uh, message ID, which comes from gRPC, is, is where that comes from. Because on a gRCP, you know, by bi-directional oh, right. connection, oh, right. you've got messages going back and forth. But it would also apply to something like, like a HTTP server sent events, possibly. Um, are the, do you know if uh, uh, SSC HTTP server sent events are um, are sequenced like with ascending numbers the way you describe here? Uh, I or, haven't had a chance. I was going to look that up, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Because I I would be inclined to just loosen the semantic convention to say they're identifiers. They're not they're not incremented. They might be depending on your system. Yeah, like that. that that's a um, that's a good point. Um, yeah. So, I I will do some more research on that, and, and maybe depending on that research, would making this required? Um, I guess yeah. basically, you think it should still be required? Yeah. Might be something to to investigate during the research. It should be optional. Right. Okay, so let's move on from that. I, I think we should try and get this, the messages stuff separate. I think that it is now. The OTEP is, still yeah. talks about stack traces. So if we update the OTEP to not discuss messages, then as well, I think it would be uh, like another round of update on that OTEP might help, is all I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, and to close the right. loop on that, that error discussion, like, um, what do you think about us at least kind of trying to? Get some airtime for that at the spec meeting. Just kind of bring it to people's attention again and let people know that this is still out there. This is still kind of a thing we're interested in solving. So that sounds good to me. Um, I'll post these notes and we can remember to do that, or or maybe I'll make an action item at the end of the meeting for someone to put this data into. Actually, I know what I'll do. We'll put, start this link, now. we'll put this link in the agenda. Um, um, maybe someone can to multitask that while I, while I, by the uh, way, by the way, can, can we, can I get the link for this document? So I can yeah, so I was just about to put that in the chat. Um, I can never figure out how to use zoom once I'm sharing my screen. Um, uh, maybe one of you can, I'm going to select Carlos outside of this, out, out of band here. Carlos, can you put that link in Slack somehow or in this chat? Um, sure. Okay. So. Thank you, Matt. I agree. We should we should discuss that. Um, okay, general identity attributes. Um, this seems like it's stalled out, but it, I don't remember any controversy. I think that's a little bit slow right now. Getting there. Um, Kevin, do you have any thoughts on this one? Um, I think this needs to get merged. I, I don't uh, think. It looks there's... like it's got approvals. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any issues. Oh, geez, three pending on approvals. Can I give you one? No, I've I've already approved it. We need one more approval on this. Um, you can approve that one. Great. All right, let's get this one. You this one done. I don't. I don't recall any um, remaining controversy. End user. 
This is cool. I appreciate this happening here. Um, it, I mean, at the very least, we should just be merging things so that they're in the spec and then people can raise questions when they're actually in the spec, not buried in the PR. So um, we'll get that one merged. Um, uh, oh, by the way, okay. Josh, by the way, Josh, you need to actually, uh, um, you know, I cannot oh, actually see the document. Share it with yep. you, of course. Sorry. Uh, I'll make that anyone with the link can edit. As of now, I believe I've done that sharing exercise. Sorry Great. about that. Okay, um, we just looked at asynchronous messaging span attributes. Uh, this, I just got a message from Armin this morning. Uh, says that uh, Dynatrace is working internally on their own list here. And so uh, let me get with him and okay. we'll probably this is a list submit of a attributes? submerged one. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I feel like, let's see. Um, and then RPC Semantic Conventions is a month old. Um, yeah, that, and this one doesn't seem very controversial to me. So. Yes, it's also quite small. So are there, okay, this is ready to merge. It just needs one more approval. Well, I think that could be me. Nope, I try to approve these things as fast as I can. Somebody approve this, please. Carlos, you can do it. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I mean, if, if you approve, that is. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Transformation to Zipkin. Um, I seem to recall this. I approved it. Then uh, there's this question about server side, client side span IDs. Uh, little typo here. Okay. Um, this is saying how to handle span kind, how to handle starts. Um, there's some to do's about how to handle things that don't exist in Zipkin. Um, a, a mapping from span kinds. I think this is, it doesn't look like this is controversial to anybody. Um, it needs votes. Um, okay. Um, does anybody have anything to say while I put a note? Yeah, do you uh, see what the to do's in the document? I mean, it looks like it's not done. It looks like it's not done? Yeah. I hope to get this merged before addressing other items that needs it. Do you mean the to do's? Uh, I mean just the to do's. Yeah, I see okay. four or five to do's in the back. Um, Well, uh, I think that he should, uh, let's rephrase these to-do items as some kind of undefined to be determined future uh, specification. The fact that we have these to-dos is preventing us from merging this book. That, would anyone uh, disagree with that? Thank you. I'm just worried about merging stuff in with, you know, even just the word to do, because I noticed that we, we did this a lot early in the spec and that we still have some places where we can never come back and clean this, this stuff up. Okay. Um, I agree. All right. Um, I want to get to the issues, but let's continue with the PRs. Um, my network is too slow, I'm sorry. Um, okay, here we are. Um, flush interface. Yeah, we're still talking about things that need to be talked about, I guess. Um, 
So this was discussed at length. Um, Ted has some concerns. I, I do too. I don't think that should be in the API. Um, I mean, their concern was uh, if you're running serverless that you need to get it flushed out. You, yeah. you need a specific call to flush at the, at the end of, of your uh, execution so that it gets pushed out because on a lot of platforms that instance sticks around even though your your execution is, is fixed but you know the other way to do that would be to put some kind of eventing thing on in the sdk where you could listen to uh you know the uh the execution so yeah I, whatever's coming from from the from the platform and do it yeah i guess my attitude is that this uh, interface is going to be, uh, I don't have a, I don't know. I, I understand both sides of this argument. Uh, making a flush API be a specific implementations exposed functionality seems fine. Making it part of the broad default SDK interface um, does seem to worry people for legitimate reasons. Um, I had a question about on shutdown, like many, some languages have a shutdown hook and some, I think of the cloud providers who are doing serverless provide hooks as well. So, um, okay, it's not clear to me that this is a great win or very important. Um, anyone else like to defend it in more ways? It's okay to, to say that we aren't going to merge these eventually. So, yeah. Um, um, okay. Try and get some update on that. Um, New span IDs should always be created for service spans. I feel like we resolved this one. So what's the hold up? Okay, a lot of people are saying we don't need this. Okay, I'm not sure what I should say. I feel like this, this is actually PR, stating the obvious. Yes, that's what I was trying, that's what I was realizing. Yeah. This PR states that we support the W3C specification and is probably unnecessary. So I'm going to close this without merging. Um, uh, so thank you, Matt. Um, it, it started out as a Zipkin specific issue, but okay. I personally am not inclined to go through the last four of these. Um, if Tristan were here, I, I would be happy to talk about 354. I am personally responsible for 347 and I'm trying to catch up with it, but it's not, um, it hasn't moved other than to discuss some terminology renames. Um, which we've kind of agreed upon in the metric SIG meeting, but haven't, haven't applied to this document yet. Um, Chris, do you want to talk about probability and sampling? I, I, um, there's two here on sampling. One's quite old. Um, I personally have feelings about sampling, but I've been staying away from them in this open uh, telemetry context. Uh, yeah, I think I, I mean, this, this is pretty old. I was waiting for a decision from the W3C repo. Um, oh, right. I just need to update this. Like basically the change is that we're picking the other half of the, uh, the trace ID to make the sampling decision. Okay. Um, I think it's-, it's So it's, are we still waiting? Uh, no, I just need to go and update it. Okay. This uh, was whether to check the high bits or the low bits. Yeah, although I, I would love if that were the only problem. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to update this, and then I'm going to get the same feedback that um, the spec shouldn't prescribe the sampling algorithm at all, which 
Well, yeah, there's, two, there's sort of like a, an SDK spec and an API spec, and I think the API spec should probably stay out of that, that language, but the SDK spec is sort of saying what we're going to do in the real world, right? Yeah, although I think we have this problem with the API and SDK spec, and it's like everything that we don't think is actually part of the spec just gets lumped into the SDK, whereas actually the SDK has its own API, but it's like the part of the API that's facing... Um, yeah, no, I understand. I agree too. Um, the, we're not very clear about saying it's an API, but it's an SDK API. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, I will come back and, and update this PR. I like, yeah, I, I would love to disclose it now, but I, I think like either I will just like write this up and justify putting it in the API or move it over to the SDK and, like as it's written, but changing the left bits to the right bits. Um, okay. And then this last one, um, I'm sympathetic to, but I, I think we need, I'm, I, as far as priorities go, it's not a priority for me. So um, it needs someone else to shepherd it, I think. Uh, I, I think even um, in the OTEP, Bogdan said that we were not going to do this. So I, I think it's okay. probably actually okay to close this one. Let's close this for now. We can open a new PR and Okay, that's it for the issues, or sorry, for the PRs. Um, how did we do this in the past? Sort by least recently updated. Um, hopefully we can get uh, through some of this stuff. Everybody ready? Uh, okay, TLS support for exporters. Um, quite ancient. <laughs> TLS, what does it stand for? Um, uh, okay, so this has been mentioned as being related to where to send spans. Um, does anybody have a feeling other than yes, we should have TLS support? Um, uh, that, yeah, it, it seems like a, a given, but I don't know. Why it just seems like a sticky subject. It uh, because, needs to be in the specification. Yeah. Um, I guess if. Um, it kind of depends if, on, you know, who you're exporting to. I assume, but I don't know why anybody would not support that. Um, it's um, uncontroversial that we will support secure transport for P2P connection. I think the question has to do with UDP transport, which is commonly uh, used for yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. and Jaeger. Uh, um, uh, so I'm gonna just, we gotta get rid of uh, too many issues. Um, okay. Open telemetry to Jaeger span transformation. This is, oh, I want sort by. Oh, I would get that. Um, vendor API compatibility. I can't imagine what that means. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to say Tigran should own this. Uh, what should I say? Um, is 115 merged? Um, yes. Okay. Another mention of SDK APIs. I don't know if I go back, do I get the version? Okay, good. Um, I felt like we have these recommendations in the library guidelines. 
Does anybody disagree? Um, let's see what he says. Um, consider specifying the maximum value of entry TTL. Okay, so this has to do with uh, context propagation. Um, it's an open topic for getting the spec written on OTEP 66. Um, so uh, it occurs to me that we should have some sort of label for things that have to get closed in the V0.3 milestone. Um, I'm gonna pretend I know how to handle that. Is there a milestone label? Wait, wait there's, there's, it, it is a milestone, and there should it's be a milestone. milestone. Duh, yeah. it's already milestoned. Good. Uh, okay. This oops, must be addressed as we had a chat Thank you. I don't know how to use milestones, apparently. Get better at this. Okay. Um, good that we have that milestone. Back. Uh, consistent tag attribute resource namespacing and structure. So this was my issue. I'm going to close it. Ha. Um, we have uh, added to this, or we have decided to use the named tracer and meter as a namespace. We have decided not to include resources in the 1.0 release. As far as I know, this can be closed. Good, that's progress. Um, uh, add a spec for handling baggage. This has got to be on the milestone as well. Let's see if it's got that milestone, it does. So, um, I'm um, reading this, let's see. We will use W3C correlation context for this. This is part of the OCHEP 6 specification work. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, does anybody disagree? Sampling decision may need to update trace state, not only attributes. I, this is another one of these cases where I'm feeling ambivalent because I, well, I, I don't see how you're going to use sampling decisions without sampling weights, and we have, we've punted on weights. So um, like, it's not really sampling if you don't have weights, my personal opinion. Um, uh, so. Uh, I could be wrong about this, but I think this this came out of the OTEP that um, that Bogdan just revised to remove this. But which I, one? Which OTEP was that? Uh, sorry, I'm looking for it. But this is this is all came out of like having oh, a sampling removed. decision. But, yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I kind of agree with that. Yeah, so I, my, my feeling is that I could be wrong about this, but I think by removing sampling hint, uh, we're actually like changing the, the, the order of the sampling decision. So before we'd make the sampling decision include some information in the form of a hint. Um, and now it seems like we, we don't need to like pass extra information from a sampler along with the, the trace state, if that makes sense. So we, we set the sampling decision separately. Okay, I like that. I need. I don't want to read this in the very moment, but we'll we'll link this. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is close this with a reference to. And it's it's this one. It's up seventy nine. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. I'm ruthlessly closing uh, issues. It's really easy to reopen them. Um, okay. Limit on number of attributes, links, events, and behavior. So this is part of the SDK specification. Um, uh, I have lots of feelings, but don't really want to fill the meeting with them. Um, 
I am wondering if this actually be, belongs to the milestone, to you know, to the. If it's, if, I think we can remove this from the milestone. Is what you're yep. saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Um, and I don't know if there's anything controversial about it. Yeah, I think it's there's settings for this in most of the SDKs now. I think I just could call it's not a blocker. Um, um Indicating issues on spans and metrics. Uh, pretty old. We may need to have a language that suggests how to add incomplete information attribute. Uh, uh, um, uh, does anybody have a feeling? I'm about to say that this is not in the milestone. Same, um, yeah, same feeling. Yeah, uh, that need to be in a milestone. This needs more clarification. Yeah. yeah I think uh, we definitely need to a do something here about proposal. Um, moving it from the milestone for a future for future work. I kind of want to close it, but I'm not going to be that. Maybe it needs a needs. Is it having this discussion? I, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, discuss using HTTP request and HTTP response. Um, this looks pretty old. Um, uh, I don't think this list feels stale enough that we can get there's close it. Yeah. Kevin, you're more aware, aware of the current state of specification for Yeah, there, there's not there's right, there's not any semantic conventions for headers anyway, right now. Uh okay, I see, yeah. So you would have to add that first. But like this says, it's yeah. span span kind. Well well no, that's not true, because the span kind is whether it's coming from the client or the or the I mean, this this seems pretty for the server. Useful. Yeah, so, I, I think this this is old enough that like when possibly when Daniel opened this ticket, we didn't have semantic conventions at all. Yeah, so probably it's more relevant now than it was when I opened it. That's that's true. Okay, please reopen if you think we should have semantic conventions for requests. Or else uh, submit a pull request. Or submit a PR to respect. Uh, ruthless, ruthless. Um, version labeling schema for API and SDK. I remember this was discussed. Um, I thought we had just. I thought we had resolved it. Um, See the proposal here. Well, that proposal got merged, yeah. Okay, then I think we can close the issue, can't we? This as 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 um, all right, let's see. Next is one, Carlos, you, you um, filed this. Um, um, it's, this is when, like, whether we should actually allow users to have a single method for adding multiple attributes. Um, I think it, this is not a blocker, and then I think it's stale, and I need to. Uh, I feel like we actually have discussed this in other issues in PRs, the idea that we, um, have added support for list valued uh, 
attributes, at least in the well, protocol. Yeah, well, it, it's not about adding multiple values to a single attribute, but adding multiple attributes at once. And it's more like sugar. Oh, yeah. You know what? In, in the Go API, this has been done already. So, um, Yeah, let's, I mean, it's, yeah, I, I don't think it's important. I really would like to grab this up, but uh, yeah, it's not, let's not make it part of this milestone. In my opinion, this is not needed. I'm going to close it and let you reopen it if you feel like it. I have a misspelling you in. Ruthless, ruthless. Um, we're back to sampling hint. Um, uh, and now we've decided to um, undo that. So I'm going to go here and say closing this according to the OTEP here. Boom. Ruthless. Very fun. Anybody else? Uh, is span context the same during the entire span lifetime? Ugh, this, this, this sounds <laughs> like a swamp. Some implementations need to change the sampling flag during the lifetime of a span. I thought uh, technically these things are supposed to be immutable. No, it's like you can actually replay, replace it. Oh, I don't know, actually. Oh. Yeah, I, I could see being able to replace the span context on a span, context on a span but the span context itself should, should be immutable. I thought, yes. we actually, I thought we got around this by uh, changing the way that we created the spans. And so we make the sampling decision when we create the span. And so hopefully you don't need to change the sampling flag after it's created. Yeah, I... I I, yeah, I think maybe that's the reason why the sampling API takes so many parameters to begin with, so that you can make the decision before making the span. I'm just going to write something here. Closing it. And Sergey can always reopen it. Well, we've closed about seven or eight issues already. Um, uh, is custom random generation a requirement for SDK or not? And this is this is an argument again for putting the. Um, uh, the sampling decision uh, spec changes in the SDK instead of the API. If we want, like, if you, if you are X-ray, for example, you you don't. If, you, if we put this in the API, your choices either violate the API or like re-implement the uh, sampling part of the SDK. So, so would you say yeah. we we believe this is not a requirement because we've removed sampling hints from the API? Yeah, and, and uh, why we did it in Java, and I've already got. I already put in a extension. There's a there's a there's a generator or generate IDs interface, and then you just swap in different implementations. So we have an implementation to do X-ray IDs. So a big part of the argument for putting it in the API is that if everybody's using the uh, like ID generation algorithm, then we get the same sampling decision all the way across the request. So I mean, we can talk about this in the ticket. But I think we're, we're still going to have this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Platform. So it bleeds over into that question about sampling from W3C. Is that correct? But if you're using, if you're using x-ray, you're probably using the sampling decision coming from like the AWS API gateway. Most of the time, possibly. Yeah, I think if you're I, using it. What it means is that we, like, wherever 
you you switch from uh, services that expect X-ray to services that expect you know your your own sampling algorithm. Uh, right? Yeah, database. yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, I feel like sampling is something that should not work in a coordinated way across vendors. It's too complicated. So that doesn't bother me, what just was said. Um, I, let, I'm more familiar with people wanting to generate their own random, number, num, random numbers just for performance reasons. Like you have a thread local generator that you can access without a mutex. That's the one you're going to use to allocate your spin ID so that you don't have contention just getting an access, just getting access to a number generator. Um, but it's not a requirement. It's just an optimization that you could apply if you decide that you want. But I, I would, I, I believe we could still, we could close this and still require that, that the standard SDKs use the high 20, 64 bits, for example, of the, the trace ID or whatever the other issue about W3C says. Sure. Yeah. Plus, we, we have some freedom here because we can also, you know. We, we ship our own version of this with the SDK, so. Yeah, the SDK already has this control. I just don't see why it would be a requirement unless it's related to sampling, which would case we can put in that other issue. Canonical type field for spans. Wow, this is a very ancient one. Um, Yeah. Uh, do, 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 where do we land on component? I think this is one we ought to resolve in this milestone. Uh, this needs discussion in the next spec sig meeting, I believe. And I'm gonna put that back in the notes. Oops. I feel like that's a swamp. Um, Probably one worth worth looking into. Yeah, uh, but we need to resolve it because I know when I wrote the 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 X ray AWS X ray ex exporter, it's got the 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 X ray model's got different sections for different kinds of spans. So you need know, need something to switch on. You know, yeah, I feel like I, I, I see this attribute. So you know, add this section. Like one, one thing that I've had experience with in trying to create like a taxonomy of spans is that you have some gray areas. Like one of them that often comes up is you'll have like um, database clients that operate over HTTP. So they're kind of like partially like this HTTP REST API, but they're also kind of a database. And like, yeah, that's a good point. You know, kind of like the, uh, the, the attributes that apply to both HTTP and database are kind of applicable there, but maybe that's a new, a new thing in the taxon, an HTTP database. I don't know. I personally feel like the right way to do this is to have schemas, and a thing can have multiple, can satisfy multiple schemas. Therefore, it's multiple types of thing. Um, so you'd have a schema saying to be a, a error message, you must have a stack trace and uh, and then type like, I don't know like you just give a description of what types of, if these fields are present then you are a this type of thing and then you can make inferences um, uh, yeah that that would work because every one of the semantic conventions has some required stuff for that so you would you'd have to look at multiple things rather than if you did it that way you'd have to look at multiple attributes so, so the type can be union <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Uh, what should we do with Which this? Which, if it's a union, you just need to hand it, figure it out. I mean, you'd have specific handling for each situation, though, more than likely. Yes, you can define a type as a union type. So it's it's I, this 
feels like a very gray area that I don't care about enough to, to get hung up on. So um, uh, uh, I would be in favor of striking this myself, but I don't want to speak here. I'm not being ruthless right now. I'm not sure why. Um, so we'll leave it in the milestone and move on. Um, sync and async children follows from, I feel like this is stale. I feel like links solve this possibly. Yes. Done. Uh, log correlation attribute names and values. Uh, what's this? Uh, we've got uh, log logging exporters. Um, I see this or is as. This Oh, yeah. request for semantic conventions that we can use externally to, to OpenTelemetry, especially for span IDs or span contexts. Um, uh, this appears to call for semantic conventions to express span context in an external system. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. You can you can assign this one to me if you want to get it in for this milestone. Sure. Um, careful what you ask for. Do not recommend URL path as acceptable spin name. So Yuri has opened a PR about this. Maybe he's yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 This, That'll take this care will close it. soon. Okay. This will. This will, this will close with Cool. Um, uh, remove has remote parent and spit from sampler dot show sample method. I, I have, I somewhere, I don't remember where I recommended, but in the context of OTEP 66, you have this current current span sampling API, which has like six arguments in them, and all of them come from the context. So you could just have a sample with a context argument. And I know there's a performance argument to say, well, you're, you're in an SDK and you're in the middle of this delicate operation to start a new span. You've got six fields lying around. You should just call the sample with your six fields. But you could also simplify the API and call it with one context. And now in the context of OTEP 66, we have a upstream context, we have a current span, and we have any number of attributes that are in the distributed context or the correlation context. So you should be able to use all of those. And I don't feel like um, I, but I don't also don't feel like I care enough. I keep saying that about sampling, which is really contradictory, but. Um, I can still look at that and see if we can clean it up, but maybe not for V03. And just looking at the date on this, it, this looks like yeah. predates the, um, I'm going to say closing this up now as there are a number of in-flight and unaccepted issues PRs about sampling. This is stale. Nobody's going to argue with me, I think. Okay. Describe, describe. Ugh. Um, I kind of want to close these two about metric exporter as being covered in 347. Um, this is covered in, did I have the right number? Yes. Um, and I know that that is not accepted yet, but I'm being ruthless again. Now we're down 12 issues at this point. Document tracer SDK. We have a document, right? Yeah, the yeah. SD, the tracer SDK has been specified. Please reopen with more work. Please. 
Uh, this is feeling really good. We got through a whole page almost. Zipkin exporter mappings. Now there's an open PR about this. Yes. This will close with 380. Um, feature request. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, I think this is covered by covered in issue 382. I believe I remember these numbers. Other than this here. Um, I'm going to make sure I I'm not lying in a second. Uh, 197 requests a late to configure metric before making the roll. Okay. Um, we're almost out of time, and I actually have to get off the call, uh, like right now. So I'm going to say we we did it. We did a whole page. Um, okay. This was just I'm, I'm skimming now. This feels like it's there's a current PR about this, but we might not even need it. We could close it. We can keep doing these. Um, some of them are tricky. These two are tricky. I think we can close one of them. Unspecified values is still a, a topic that keeps coming up. So I'm going to leave that one for sure. Uh, I'm working on it, the metrics uh, API specs this week, um, so I will get this one done. Some of these are for me. I can do this one too. So we're down all the way to um, NVAR for where to send spans, which came up earlier. So in the context of TLS, oh geez, resources as span attributes. Okay, this has got to end. Um, all right, well done everybody, thank you. Um, uh, I feel like we should do this again soon yes. but uh maybe not until next week um yeah actually, actually, actually you would like to go through the actual milestone you know uh, the, the uh, okay do, does anyone here object to um well i i kind of don't want to do this again tomorrow morning because we've got two other sig meetings well at least i do uh, tomorrow uh and i'm afraid that friday people won't come but i'd be willing to come on friday morning if that is acceptable that is for people acceptable for people uh, all right there, there, all right, there is a java code. okay Okay, when is that Java SIG? Friday. Okay. All right. The action item here is we will schedule one for Friday morning that doesn't overlap. I think that means 8.30. I might only be able to make it for half an hour at that point, uh, but I'm happy to, to meet you all then. Yeah, that, that sounds great to me. Okay, I'll, I'll put that in my notes um, and I'll share, we'll share this document properly afterwards. Yeah, I schedule another triage meeting to review. Milestone itself on Friday morning. Okay, we will put the link to that on the calendar. Carlos, you'll edit the calendar when we get that set. Um, yep. And announce it on Getter. Um, thank you all. Cool. Have thanks, a great day. Thanks for having us, Josh. Yeah, no right. problem. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. That's really useful.